making a gramophone out of cardboard. First you print out all the patterns that you'll be cutting out of the cardboard. It takes a lot of time to cut it so I just showed you a little bit. You're welcome. Then you pick a box that you think is going to work and you flatten it out and then you will be tracing everything on it. Now you want to make sure that the stripes go with the bell. See where I'm placing it, where all the bells are, where everything is curved? In the future, I'll be bending that with the grain of the cardboard. This is the point in which you realize the box that you used was not good. You couldn't cut through it. You were worried about painting on that glossy bit, so you grabbed a bigger, better box. And then you stress out a little bit, but it's okay. And then you tell your doll you love her, because how could you not love her? All right, you've traced them again with all the uh, bendable bits going in the right direction. You'll notice I did one wrong. That's okay, I'll fix it later. This part takes forever. Put everything you've cut out in a box to make it easy to find later. also recommend cutting out things in straight lines following the patterns exactly. I did not do that. Um, I was very careless with my cutting. I would grow to regret this later as I was trying to put them all together into a 3D contraption and it didn't really work. Um, but I made it work because cardboard bent to my will. For um, the most bendy part, I chose a different cardboard. I decided to take a cereal box uh, and use that, mostly because I had to make all these creases. And I saw that ahead of time and I said, I don't need to use the same kind of cardboard. I can use this kind of cardboard. And I fo folded it um, on all the lines where it says to be folded, but I also did it both ways. So that way it would be easier for me in the future. I was being kind to myself this time. Um, you should always try to be kind to yourself whenever possible. Okay, and this is the part that I was talking about earlier. You have to take a scissors and a scissors. You have to take scissors and thin all of the edges. Um, otherwise you're gonna have a hard time putting these together. So you flatten it with the end of the scissors that are not sharp. And then you also fold everything, right, like, just like that. You fold everything, um, so that way you can bend it either direction. Now we're putting together the bowl. Now this is the sound bowl on the inside of the gramophone. Things are starting to look together. Um, you start at the top edge and then work your way down. It's the easiest way to do it. That's not saying that it's easy. It's just if you want your life to be as easy as possible while making this gramophone, you got to start from the top. Um, then you kind of force the edges otherwise to meet each other. If you hadn't pre-bent those pieces of cardboard, this part would be incredibly difficult. I used regular scotch tape for this, um, mostly because I was also going to be removing the tape later. This is so exciting. Okay, so now I realized right here it probably wasn't going to work the way I wanted to. That's okay. I used glue later. I tried to make it work with a lot of tape. You're, there's holes. There's gaps. I was happy because I knew this wasn't going to be visible. And then I was smarter 
with the container that the bowl would go in. Um, of course, same thing, you do all the edges. This time I saw which edges closely matched my not perfect squares to my not perfect uh, stop sign. <laughs> and then I put them together and I even uh, numbered them and put arrows so I would always know which way they went. Um, this is so much easier than the bowl but still you want to be tight. You want everything really together. Um, and then because I had done that it made this part easier. There's still some gaps but it's a lot better than the bowl that I'm gonna put in the inside and then see how they go in together. I use some hot glue on everything. Um, I did use hot glue on everything that that was what made me able uh, that's how I was able to take out the tape at a later time. This part I mixed up I wanted the cereal part of the box to be on the inside and that's where I saw that I had done the wrong thing and I just kind of accepted my fate um, with leaving the cereal part on the outside. Now I glued everything extra in there as well, trying to keep everything nice and tight, trying to fix all my little mistakes that I had made because I didn't have perfectly sized pieces. Now we're gonna make the horn of the gramophone. This is by far the hardest part. Everything you've been doing from before is to train you for this part. Um, it's similar to the bowl on the inside. You're gonna start at the top edges and go down. Um, look at the, the way I've, I've placed them on the table is kind of the order in which I'll go. We're starting with the bottom of the horn, which is a sh the shorter, long, skinny one. And we're attaching it to the next little horn with the I guess the bigger curve is the way I'll say it. I will say it. You use a lot of tape, so much tape. Um, oh my gosh, so much tape. But I really wanted to get those edges close together. Uh, that way, the, the, the tighter you get the edges um, to be together, the better a shape you'll have, um, the better they will form together. I'm just like, this is the, the torturous part of this. It, this is why it's Tooker's Torture Workshop, because this is genuinely torture. Oh gosh, I was like so, I was suffering during this point. <laughs> I had to take a lot of frequent little mini breaks. Um, I got so, so scattered brain, you can see part of my like chicken I had for dinner in the shot. How lazy is that? And now you get to see my partner's knee, uh, and he's starting to be wonderful and hand me tape. If you can have a partner help make this, their best friend, a loved one, someone nearby whose presence you don't mind, uh, go ahead and let them hand tape to you. <laughs> it makes it just makes it so much easier. Um, and it's also nice whenever you get frustrated with the cardboard um, to have a person there to listen to you. It's also nice if you uh, watch a movie together while you're doing it. Here we're watching Sleuth, uh, which is, an, there's two versions of it. The one we were watching was the old one with Laurence Olivier and a young Michael Caine. Uh, the new one has old Michael Caine and Jude Law. Um, it's very good. It's, it's a weird movie. Uh, I forgot how many twists and tour turns there were until we were both reacting to them. Um, and it was a nice escape. Ooh, see, when I get down to that bottom part, oof, the, the long tubey part of the horn, oof, compared to the flower parts of the horn, so much nicer. Well, we're getting to the worst part. This was a battle. This right here, we're finally getting to the part where we're, we're, we're completing it. And there is a corner, there is a hole I'm forming right now that is just, well, it's, it's gonna stay there. <laughs> and here we have the finished product. 
And we've off screen done a little bit of glue. Now we're gonna remove all the scotch tape, um, mostly because we kind we've just decided to plasti dip this, and we want it to look really nice. And so now I've gotten a lot of it off on screen. Um, I just gave myself a break with the camera, um, and now I'm also hot gluing and then putting acrylic plaster into that hole that I created earlier with my impatience. Um, I'm also. <sighs> I'm about to be hot gluing some edges and then immediately touching them and then immediately regretting them. Oh gosh, there I did it again. I, I just, I just kept on torturing myself. Oh, will I do it again? Yep, immediately, immediately. That's three times in a row I touched hot glue that I just put on the gramophone. So, children, don't do what I do. Some of the tape is under the hot glue. That's okay. It's not perfect. We're hoping she's going to look a little better after we do this part. When do I stop? I'll tell you, it's, there's a counter at the top. So. <laughs> Two minutes. Okay. Anything else I should know? Uh, move. Don't like. Don't stay in one area and spray. Go tss, tss, like that and band. Because if you stay in one area, it'll pull up and then you'll get beads. Okay. 